high expectations for the manager and this is what he wants and I think it's a, we, we looked before and we didn't see a centre forward and it's great to see Giroud there and what have you got to do with him? Got to give him the quality service. He's got players alongside him who can do just that. Another fantastic opportunity for, for Billy Gilmore who will be trying to dismantle and Golo Kante for, for his position in midfield. It's a, it's a tough ask. Sheffield United then with McBurney and McAldrick up front. Just one goal so far this season for McBurney. But there's one man in that team, Jaden Bogle, who I've seen play for Sheffield United. And he's that little glimmer of hope, that little bit of pace there on, on the wing. Can he be effective? Well, that, that's where they're going to need him. They're going to need the, the, the quality of his balls into the box. You know, when I do say balls into the box, I'm, the closer you get to the byline, you know, then it opens up for you, and it's a case of lifting it up and giving those two centre forwards that decent day now. You know, maybe there will be a job for him at Sheffield United with his experience, but it's great to have him in out on that pitch now, still at a good fitness level, helping helping the players around him. It's finally important that you have those players that have been there, pretty much seen it and done it, just to help the young ones what have come into the side. Okay. Let's head back. To our commentary team, then Clive Allen and John. You probably, impossibly, by a goal to nil. So anything can happen. They can, Jonathan. You just see the the initial uh, body language from Sheffield United is one of very relaxed. They're smiling. They're happy. It is one of those maybe rare opportunities. Confidence in young Kepler is not high. More than towards the near post, it's flicked to the far, and it's a comfortable save in the end for the will say to deny him his first goal since April 2019. There's the flick, that takes the pace out of the ball, but it's just too high for Jagielka to power it down on target. Croatian International swung up wide there then. And Pulisic to the far side, Hudson and Doi. He comes across from Mount. Lots of pink shirts back there. Jagielka got his foot to it, not a great clearance away though. You He's a, a too cool man. I wonder if he'll be around longer than the summer. It's a good ball out wide by Kovacic. Finds its way to Hudson Adoy. Near post cross. Ramsdale's lost it. Chelsea claimed the corner. Well, they got away with that. Sheffield United. Ben Osborne tried to intercept the diagonal crossfield ball out to Hudson Adoy here. He mistimes that. Now, can he find the cross? Adoy into that near post area. Ramsdale at full stretch nearly pushes it into the path of that man. Giroud, he knows he's got to get across the near post in the end. Sheffield United managed to bundle it away. Mount will take it. Watch for Zuma here. He's always going to be going to him. Put away to Chilwell. Back into the mix, it's gone and it's an own goal. I think it's gone in off for Ollie Norwood. Well, you were right, Jonathan. The corner comes in the direction of Zuma. He attracts a number of players. That allows Chilwell freedom on the edge of the box. He has time to take a touch. I'm not so sure he's actually shooting at goal. I think he's just trying to fire it back into the danger area. You see there, three players go with Zuma. Chilwell alone. He's trying to just hit that back towards the far post area. Norwood sticks out a right boot and the deflection takes it into the back of the net. The Chilwell shot's not going in, but the touch from Norwood has given Chelsea the lead. An own goal by Oliver Norwood. He was a semi-finalist in this competition when he was a Reading player. Back some six years ago, gives Thomas Tuchel's side the lead. The day originated. There is a... A bit of a link between some of these historic places. Good ball in, lovely ball in. Hudson Adoy arriving. He's looped it up and over. I tell you what, he was caught there by Ramsdale. That's what Giroud is saying to the referee. Yeah, Giroud just asked the question was there a foul from Ramsdale on Hudson Adoy? A couple of occasions Chelsea played the diagonal pass into the areas where Hudson Adoy is going to attack the back of Osborne. You can see, I think, just offside if he'd have managed to uh, convert that pass. He took us into uh, Europe and then asked to leave early, went to Borussia Dortmund. And here he's in charge of Chelsea, in again here. And that's a good block by Ramsdale to deny Pulisic. Back it comes to Billy Gilmore. Chance up for a second for Chelsea. Ramsdale's done well for him. Rescued by his goalkeeper. Back in the direction of 
Jagielka, Pulisic onto it, but Ramsdale leaves his six-yard box to smother the attempt. I'm going to say, did the slip play a part in Pulisic on to crit? And off goes Mount, very front foot player. He was looking to carry the ball forward or play it forward. Had some doy with the cross and looking for the sick. May have got the last touch there, he did. Yeah, Jack Jagielka's heady clearance comes off of Pulisic for a Sheffield United goal kick. But it is becoming easier in the way that Chelsea can move the ball from their own half into the final third. Hudson Adoy starting to dominate Osborne in that left back position. He's 38. Joel Jagielka, this is the 692nd game of his career. Sheffield United finishing the half strongly. Norwood. McGoldrick could have got a shot away, does so. Straight up Kepa. It picks Doy. Pulisic, three men on him. I know the danger is wriggled past, and that's where he is brilliant. Blocked by the goalkeeper and popped up from the rebound. Jonathan, it was brilliant. The way that he stepped between three players with a shuffle. Pulisic, quite magnificent. Receives the ball from Hudson Odoi. Now, has one behind, two in front. Great footwork, right to left and through, and that's a fine stop by Ramsdale with his right hand. Rolls it with his right boot, drags it with his left, and then Ramsdale, as he's falling to the floor, sticks out a real... What happened with Sheffield United as a club going into that Leicester game last weekend, and the result... Chelsea prowling, Pulisic, hudson Adoy, four to hit in the middle, goes inside, wasteful. Just snatches at the shot, does well to skip back inside Osborne, has the angle to fire with the left foot, but snatches at it. Tries to really strike it quickly and hits across it. You can see Pulisic becoming more and more dominant. And as he comes inside, Adoy quickly snaps at the shot. No accuracy. Well, the team beaten by Arsenal in the final in August. It's held over from last one. And comes across of Osborne into the penalty air all the way through. Attack in the box, not yet away. And then he came out there then towards Stevens, and out it goes. Yeah, I was just thinking. I wonder what people in Australia or USA, wherever you're watching, think about Sheffield United fans as they have to defend this corner now. Sheffield United singing the Chip Butty song in your neighbourhood as the game kicked off. I wonder what they made of that around the globe. Well, that is a classic case of what every defender should do when they're passing back to the goalkeeper, Jonathan, and that is don't play it between the goalposts. Play it wide of the goal because Jagielka's pass, Ramsdale. Certainly for Hacky Bottom will be delighted with the attitude. Lundstrom with the crush and here's a chance oh, and needed to go in. What an opportunity for David McGoldrick to bring Sheffield United back in the tie and it would be deservedly so in this second half and it's gone wide. Well everything was right, the work down the right hand side, the delivery to cross was superb. This little touch in behind the fullback, whipped in cross, McGoldrick has to score anything on target, it's in the back of the net, Lundstrom delivers perfectly into the six yard box, McGoldrick makes it but just doesn't get the direction or on target. What a chance. Was that the moment that could have turned the course of this tie? He thinks so. About it. He's got to clear his mind now, Jonathan. It's all about the next one. Lovely touch from Vogel. Great delivery from Lundstrom. Just head it on the target anywhere. Even try and head it at the goalkeeper, Jonathan. In the end, he's going for precision. He's trying to head it back into the side netting from where it's come from. And he heads it wide. His game plan has worked. I know they're behind, but it was an own goal. It's worked fairly well. He's, he's had Lundstrom out wide and Fleck out wide in the midfield positions. You know how Chelsea are dangerous in the wide positions. And Sheffield United dangerous themselves there with the effort from McBurney. Well dealt with by Kepa and Chelsea are on the back foot. It's a good stop. McBurney gets service on this occasion but he's in acres of space, he has time to bring it down. The ball's played forward, look at the space he's in, takes a touch, takes a second touch, and then winds a left foot shot towards the far corner. Ke Put forward here by Fleck, and McGoldrick has been a quarter there ahead of him. 
He's gone beyond him with pure strength. Oh, came off Kepa and it scrambled away. I think Kepa was claiming the ball had gone out of play. I'm not too sure it did, you know. No, it didn't, Jonathan. You're right. He, he spun along the byline, did McGoldrick. And then in the end, he tries to fire that across Kepa, who gets a hand on it. And lucky he does because I think it's Bogle who's in the six yard box. Does really well along the byline, McGoldrick. Spins away from Espelagueta. Bogle's in now. He's actually trying to score from that really, really tight angle for Goldrick. Brilliant skill on the byline. Has a look. He just tries to wind it into the far corner. It was an important save by Cap, but I'm not too sure it was a very convincing save by him. There's a free kick now, he'll have more work to do. John Flexer on the ball. Nord is the man to the right of it, though. Here he is to take it to the, to the far stick. That came in to Stevens. Well, his hands on his head. He knows he's got to head that down, down and back into the danger area. Another positive change coming from Sheffield United. All right, heading any second now. You see the board go up. Here's Brewster. They need Musi to go away and get into that penalty area in a more central position. Here's the back heel to Ben Osborne. Can they get a last gasp? Oh, it nearly came to McGoldrick. Chelsea has stretched. It's driven just wide by Brewster, and that would have been a story. Jonathan, he doesn't have to smash that ball. Comes rolling back to Brewster. Just has to be intent on hitting the target. Does really well with the back heel to Osborne. Then as the ball pops out to him from Zuma, just hit the target. You don't have to smash the shot. Almost, you could side foot it into the bottom corner from there. Go for position, hit the top. Just at time. Must be settled, of course, today. And some second to it, Ziek. Here's Kovacic. Got an opportunity to kill the tie here, Chelsea. Chilwell, Havertz wants it played in early. Wasn't the best of balls, but Ziek's there, and they've killed the tie, and they're heading to Wembley in the semi-final of the FA Cup. Ziek makes sure, moments after Sheffield United might have equalised heroically, Chelsea go down the other end and book the place in the semi-final of 2020-21 for Thomas Tuchel. You just knew it. You just knew that that massive chance at one end that was passed up was going to be punished. As soon as that ball broke, Chelsea with the numbers going down the left-hand side and see it in the end, lovely first touch and a clinical finish. They're pressing Sheffield United, the ball breaks, they come out down the left-hand side, Kovacic feeds Chilwell and Ziyech when he goes across the front of Jagielka, that touch and the finish is really clinical. He doesn't snatch at it, he just eases it back into the far corner. Good delivery, lovely touch and then a clinical finish. Game set match, Chelsea in the semi-final. Good week for him, scored against Atleti and gets another one here today. He's doubled his Chelsea tally inside a matter of days. Two big games, two big goals.